Uh, Pokemon Stadium, <laughs> the Project Game version of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nah, they're just discussing it. Like, bullshit. They're just discussing a game. It looks like that was a fist bump before an actual game's about to start, so yeah. Yes, any Pokemon Stadium, yes. Perfect, dude. They GM to it. That's exactly what we want to see at this tournament. That's why the mods are allowed. Yes. It's a very beginning stage. <laughs> and look at that uh, beautiful color on Palutena. Yeah, this is just like, man. And even on Sheik, too. Yeah. Both of them look real slick out here, but Dave with the conversions. You're, you're, well, you're getting ready to go to a funeral after this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Mal 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 Mal's putting some work with the, with the little chain setups. Yeah, he got the four throwing the, in the Falcon fish. Pretty stable with Sheik, but very effective nonetheless. Come on, mm -hmm. Dave. And Dave, with this uh, pressure, he's not letting up on him. I'm used to seeing Dave being much more patient. He just short hops around. He's trying to bait out an, an approach from his opponent, but now it seems like he's going all in. He's yeah, you know, he's probably just trying to mix it up a little bit. Probably just trying to get the read on Mally for a set. Yeah, he might be trying to figure out uh, how he approaches so that way, so that way he can bait those approaches out. But at the same time, like uh, Mally is doing like very well, man, with this impressive seat, man. Yeah, yeah uh, you gotta give him credit for picking up a new character and then being able to enter a tournament and fight at an equal level with a competitor like Dave. Yeah, hey, that's that's how you only get better, man. Yeah, you know, both. Uh, both players seem to be respecting each other to the point where they're not going to overextend. You know, they're going for the guaranteed damage, but nobody's trying to disrespect, go off stage. Like, they both know that they're competent players. Oh! Just like that, Mally uh, accidentally side B is trying to go for a recovery. Yeah, sometimes I get that mix up too. I feel like bouncing fish should have been like a side B move as opposed to a down B move. Yeah. Come on. Who needs the grenades? <laughs> Bring back the whip for Mally. That would have been great. Mm -hmm. I love that move. Dave sitting uh, comfortably on this sector, on this first stock. Mally's gonna have to take it quickly before he gets uh, too much percent on him, though. Yeah. He's getting like, like a good amount of extra credit right now. Ooh. Yeah, and it's only growing by the second. The back air. But, but the problem is, like, with Sheik, right? Um, I could probably say at this point, like, she kind of struggles with killing. Not as. Only true, true Sheik mains can kill easily. Like, you know, you yeah. avoid with these crazy ass setups that he does, like making it look like Sheik is the easiest character to play, but it's not doable by everybody. So in that regard, yeah, she does have a lot of like killing struggles. Yeah, you just have to know like your cancels, your or your auto cancels, your, your setups. Dave is still sitting at 144% and uh Mally doing everything he can to keep him pressured on the on the edge, but Dave Actually taking stage control, as I say it. You got on my 69%. Oh, Come on, gosh. Dave, you can do it. Are we going to see a clean two stock, or will Molly be able to adapt? Hopefully Molly will be able to adapt on like game he's... two. I'm, I'm not really confident on this one. Oh, man, you have to double up air. This is all you need. Oh. Oh. Then this was a contest first. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff to Dave. Uh, that, that SD was very unfortunate for Molly in the beginning, so. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that doesn't put him too far until we'll see a, a better. Yep. Seems like there's a a trait or a pattern going on. People are kind of taking Town City a lot every every single day. Well, Town City usually have like this weird ceiling. I feel like the ceiling is kind of short than how it looks. Um, so it's probably easy for them to get like get them caught up in short Yugans. Yeah, for sure. And then you have plenty of space for you to run. Um, do you think uh, Mally picked three because he feels like this matchup is better than uh, Sheik? Oh wow, the up tilts. Uh, you know, my my first thought was more of like he probably wasn't really confident in the matchup between his Captain Falcon and Palatina. Since Captain Falcon's a fastballer, and he could easily get combo. Um, that was pick, a really good reflect. Yeah, picking for you. Um, I don't know, that's like a question mark. It, it, I, doesn't, it doesn't look like he's doing too poorly, so um, yeah. at the very least it wasn't a, a downgrade from Sheik. You know, he's still he's still tacking the damage on, he hasn't even killed yet. Mm -hmm. Keeping it pretty even. And, and Ryu, especially even in Street Fighter games too, he's all about like high damage. Yeah. Um, Whoa, the, oh, that's hard. Yeah. Okay. So, right there you could tell he's been practicing a little bit on his Ryu. Yeah. He's yeah, a little bit more sure, work, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. 
And Dave, you just you just trying to play safe. You just going in looking for a grab. The up air. Yeah, down throwing to up air. That's I'm not sure if it was sure at that percent, but it's still a deadly uh, string nonetheless, even when it's not true. You don't want to get caught in that. One thing about Foul Tina, like, she could, like, really get you, like, in these comic shows, like, for days, man. Yeah, it's, it's, she's, uh, I don't understand how she could be considered to be such a, wow, Dave with these ledge cancels, I don't, I don't understand how she could be considered so low tier when she has all these tools, and that, uh, yeah, ooh, so, wow, okay. the, that was like an up tilt, yeah, or, or up, up air, or up smash, yeah. yeah, I don't know, what do you I think it was an up smash, it was really quick, just like that, Dave gets punished for doing all that fancy stuff he should have been playing with rather than ledge cancel. But he still has a pretty healthy percent lead, so maybe he's not, he's not even worried about that. I was expecting a reverse on that. Yeah, there you go. He tried to mix him up. Uh, he's going hard for those uh, shield breaks. Yeah, he's, he wants that collarbone breaker. He's trying to... I, I don't know what he would be able to pull out of it at this percent, though. Nothing, really, unless he's trying, like, okay, shield break him, and then go for, like, up tilts to a jump, and then, like, what's it called? Four air? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen too many re shield break combos, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. know. But Dave has him on the edge, throws out the get-up attack, uh, and gets back to the stage. That's like a very rare thing to happen in competitive play. Get-up attack is like a, a last, the last option that you take. Ooh, okay. And the up airs might seal it because it's a town city, but no, still that one, that one's not. He yet. should have. He like. Um, a more defensive way, he should have just like lose like down B. I was just because thinking, he had like defensibility. Yeah. Why weren't you landing with down B? It would have. But also, does her up air also has a multi hit move too? That might be it. So maybe he knew that and he just. But why would you pick Ryu then? I don't, I don't know. 